Hey guys, on the last episode, we refinished the front door. We continue to refinish some wood okay. projects. And this one, we're going to do a bunch of things. I'm going to show you my brand new antique. With some UV broad spectrum, L10B. And it prevents the sunblock from looking too white. And I do like that dewy look. Oh. Got this Chevy hair butter, which the women in Chad, they have very long hair, but I don't attribute it to the Chevy powder. I attribute it to genetics. They might have some African mixed with Arabic ancestry going on but i do like a good hair butter now my hair is super fine and it doesn't really hold it down like it needs a little more wax but it um definitely makes my hair feel like less dry in the ends my hair breaks like if if i were to really show you my hair it'd be like all shorter like up to my ears like i even have bangs i never cut bangs <laughs> either it's a chemical cut but i just think it's a part of my alopecia but yeah okay of course after you put any hair products you gotta wash your hands I wash my hands but I'm gonna show you how I go out makeup free every day so first thing I'm gonna do is a little bit of eyebrows I have alopecia so I have like zero eyebrows just a little bit. My husband's gonna come in here, kill a vibe, embarrass me. You're on a phone. Okay, just a little bit. Doesn't have to be perfect. But I do like to capture the few little hairs I have. And get them a little bit. Standing up if I can. My daughter always clowns the way I do my eyebrows. But I'm gonna take my daughter to a birthday party, but it's like Always pizza. Like, can't people be creative with kids? Make some hors d'oeuvres, some snacks, something for the parents. But I know when I throw parties, my food is lit. Not just for the kids. Kids can have pizza, but I make other stuff. Okay. Then we're gonna take some bright serum full of kojic acid. I do switch up my actives. Like at night, I use my. It's just like so strong. I can sell it. It's so strong. Look at how yellow it is. It's all that retinol, vitamin C. In um, like a paste. Helps keep my skin a little smooth. I've gained a lot of weight. I've gained like 18 pounds since I moved here. So I started working out again hard today. I've always been working out, but I did like a really good like 30 minute workout today. So yeah, I put this in my non acne prone areas to give me some glow. Right? So this is the bright serum, kojic acid and yeah, just kojic acid in a, a garden oil. And then I use some glass skin on the apples of my cheeks, which has other amazing actives to brighten you up. My nose. And that's how I go make it free. Hey, there's my no makeup look for a party. I think it's cute, you know? No, nothing on the eyes. You can see my melasma is pretty bad. I moved to a very hot area and spent a lot of time in the sun. But yeah. Good thing I have a big forehead. So if I put on a wig, I just put it on my forehead. And then we'll. Uh, Some
Some people can't. Well, my friend can't wear this wig because her forehead's too small. Okay, guys, it is here. This is the piece that I just picked up. Got it on the Facebook Marketplace. They advertised it as an antique Spanish dresser. Um, I got it. It was listed at 100. I got it for 90. And I think it looks distressed. I like the wood tone. And um, what I'm going to do is I think... Okay, you can see the side. It still has a dark stain. So I'm already... Um, I forgot to add the footage, but I already stripped it and added some bleach. Now I'm going to go in with a whitewash, which is a combination of paint mixed with water. And I'm just going to sponge it on. And whenever you do this, make sure you don't add too much. And if you do add too much, you wipe it off as soon as the um, paint can really penetrate. But um, the water gives it a really nice veil effect to the color where it's not just like painted on top. You can still see the wood grain. Um, yeah, this is probably one of my favorite techniques. Let me just talk about this. So I was like Googling, you know, like um, prices and like values of antiques. You know how you can use your Google like camera button and insert a photo and it'll search the web. And all these like really expensive antiques were coming up. Um, French, most of European antiques are kind of expensive, but I decided to pay for an appraisal. So I called this, I guess it's called Get Answers or some. It was like $40. I called him and I said, you know, this was advertised as a French or no Spanish antique. He goes, well, I wouldn't say it's Spanish. I would say it's early American. And I would say it's like 140 years old. What's your social Back to what I was saying. Okay, so. I decided to get it appraised, and <clears throat> he was like, no, it's not Spanish. I see why they might have thought that, because of the carved nature of it, but it's early American and <clears throat> late 1890s. So he said 120 to 140 years old. Whoa! So I'm like so pumped. This is like my first antique that I actually like, and like I said, I'm trying to combine <clears throat> modern with vintage or modern with antiques like the juxtaposition of the two different styles like minimal but then like an antique and then like <clears throat> a modern you know couch or something like that i'm going to combine those but yeah i did like a treatment i did like a subtle subtle whitewash to, just to give it like a little bit of ashiness ashiness and i just love the way it came out i mean it's so warm oh so like let me Change the camera so you can okay, see. Okay, can you guys see right here? Hold on. Right here. So it has like the old lock and only one of the sides. I don't have the lock for that. Um, my husband has to figure out how to pick it. But these are like, I mean, this is like the heaviest wood ever. And then it has like a little um, like paper. Uh, somebody added that later on. But let's put this piece of tape because this one needs to be messed with. It's obviously been like messed with, sanded, the finish because somebody, it was wood and then somebody put a really dark stain on it. And then somebody came and removed the dark stain. I personally like it without the dark stain. That's like more my, my style. But I want to show you guys. I show you guys the lock. So this is a way to see that it's very old, has like a genuine old lock and like 120, 140 years old. So somebody made this like 1890. I cannot believe it. Like I am so pumped up about this because I had purchased another antique and it was like, I did some refinishing and it was like, these parts were plastic. Like this is all carved wood. Like, come on. Um, yeah, I mean, even these little details here, like I love it. So you can see wherever you see kind of like a white color, like there and there, that's a little whitewash I added just to give it a little bit less warmth, a little more cool ashiness. Um, and remember on this side, it was dark stain and I stripped the stain, bleached it and then added the whitewash, I like the way that looks as well. There's a couple imperfections like here, 
here. It's even missing a piece here. But it's shoot for 140 years old. I'll take it. So I just put it on this side of my room. It's really hard with the um, pig pen, like having a cute style, like, but he, like, just look at this little vignette paired with the fireplace. I think it looks good. I mean, yeah, I really, really like it. It was hard um, bringing it upstairs, but perfect Facebook find for $90. Oh, I forgot to mention, he said it's only probably worth like 400 Um because it has some nicks and some marks. But I mean, I would say I could probably sell it for six or seven if I wanted to, even though I'm not gonna sell it. But as of now, I'm super excited about it. And yeah, so I just put this little pot here, vintage pot and this little plant riser. Um, yeah, super pumped up about my antique little cabinet. All right, guys, I'm going to end the vlog here, and thanks for watching. Okay, Bye. guys, thanks for watching. I'm going to continue to strip some of the dreadful cabinets, and on the next episode, I'll have more to show you in the kitchen.